Welcome to SPAD.net users. Today we are going to have some fun with functions. We are going to examine some of the properties of the linear family. Let's open up a graph sticky and enter our parent function y equals x. As you can see it appears in blue on our coordinate plane. It has a line set of 0. It has a rate of change of one, the coefficient of x, so for every unit we move up one, we're going to move horizontally one. Let's click on the origin. Zero, zero, the y intercept, and mark it. Because what we like to do is examine what happens to this point when we perform some transformations of the power function. So let's type in a new function, y equals m times x plus b the slope intercept one equation of one and notice what appears below the equation matrix. We have some sliders that indicate the values of b and m respectively. So right now, what we'd like to do is we'd like to change the value to be zero. So the red line overlaps the blue one. And we want to change the step to one. So now, when we increase the value of b, or decrease the value of b by clicking on the arrows, b is going to increase by one. So notice what happens when we increase the value of b. The point zero zero got shifted up to the point zero four. So whenever we increase the value of b, we are going to have a vertical translation or vertical shift moving up. If we go in the other direction, we are shifting the graph down. So now what I can do is I can move my slider to negative three, and we have shifted this point from zero zero to zero negative 3. So the effect of the variable b is to perform a vertical translation or shift of the parent function y equals x. Let's move b back to 0. So the red line overlaps the blue line. And now let's make our step for m. 1, 2, or 0, point one. And what we're going to do is move our slider to see what happens when we change the value of m. Notice when we change the value of m, the red line becomes much steeper than the blue one. And the value of m gives us a new direction. We are going in an uphill direction, but it is much steeper than it was before. Now if we make m positive, or a fraction, like 0.5, the decimal, 0. We now have a line that is less steep than the parent function. So the value of m, if it is positive, will affect the steepness of our line. And it will always be in an uphill direction. Now, if we type in 0 for m, what we're going to have is a horizontal line. If we go in the other direction, and move our slider to the left and make m negative 1, we now have a line that goes in the opposite direction. It goes down from left to right. So the effect of the variable m is on the steepness of our line and also on the direction of our line. When m is negative, we are going in a downhill direction. When m is positive, we're going in an uphill direction. So we can perform both a shift of the line and change the steepness of the line. By manipulating the value of m and change the y-intercept by changing the value of b. We hope you found this video informative. If you would like to explore linear functions in more detail, please see the class net classpad.net paper, Fun with Functions, Transforming the Linear Family.